Today we're going to learn how to make a tie-dyed balloon. This is a balloon I made last week when my daughter left her acrylic paints out on my balloon area. I wondered what would happen if I put it inside a clear balloon and double stuffed it. And this is what we got. This is a clear 12 inch balloon. And then inside that is a black 12 inch balloon. And in between is some acrylic paint and turquoise, white, and magenta. Made a really cool kind of galactic look. But since tie dyed super popular, I wanted to try to make one um, using a white interior balloon and some primary colors. So let's get started. This is a 12 inch crystal clear balloon and I've actually turned it inside out and rinsed out the powder inside just to take away uh, any powdery residue we have. The next step would be to roll down the nozzle. I'm going to cheat a little bit and use my balloon expander to do this. But you really want to get the paint down into the body, the round part of the balloon and not in the nozzle, or it will be a mess when you're tying. So you want to try to keep all the paint inside the balloon. So I'm going to take each color oops, and just put a teeny bit in, like a pea-sized drop. And that's probably more than a pea. These paints are a little dried out, so it's hard to get quite the proper amount. I'm just thinking the primaries might generate a good tie-dye. Oops, yeah, that was too much. A little extra yellow and a drop of the blue. If I can get it out of there. Oops, and again, that was too much blue. Use less than that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is kind of pull down to try to keep that paint inside the balloon and it mixes it just a little bit. We want to just lightly coat the balloon. Okay. And now take your white balloon and put a straw in it. I'm using a balloon straw. You can use a regular straw for this. And you're going to insert it into your clear. This will be nice and easy if you didn't get a lot of paint inside the nozzle like I did here. So insert it all the way down. Okay, there we go. Just going to give it a little touchy touch mix here. And grab your balloon pump and inflate it. You're going to want to inflate it um, at least seven inches, probably seven to nine inches is good. So you can keep that crystal clear balloon looking clear and not cloudy. Okay, here we are. And then you can just tie the nozzle like you normally would. And then check out your colors. This one looks pretty cool, guys looking pretty tie-dyed. I think I used too much paint. I would definitely use less if I did it again. Um, something else I'm really curious about is what happens when these pop. So if you're going to use this as a decoration for centerpiece on say some base balloons, if some kid pops it, um, it might be a big mess. It might not be. I don't know if the paint's able to dry inside these balloons or not. So stay tuned next week. I am going to pop them and we're going to find out if we have a big mess on our hands or not. See you then.